You're still watching The Breakfast here on PLUS TV Africa. And still on the Edo governorship election, we have live in the studio legal practitioner and public affairs analyst, Libros Oshoma. Good to have you, Libros. Always my pleasure. All right. You, you've had that conversation. I'm sure you also watched the conversation between the two politicians. And by, extensions, all the, by extension, all the politicians have been having conversations at different levels uh, on this Edo election. But let's look at it uh, differently from another lens, if you like. Like, what's your general assessment of this election and what are the key lessons to be learned from this election? Um, a lot, a lot. Um, uh, first and foremost, um, uh, it shows that if um, the process, you know, if our electoral processes are indeed transparent, that most of these people parade themselves as politicians and leaders will be off our, our, our template and be off, you know, our faces. Hmm. Um, that's, that's, that's the first lesson. Why and, would you say so that? The people should strive, you know, for transparent process and not, you know, be divided between APC and PDP. Um, observers have commended the process. And then um, a lot of people did not expect the outcome. And mm. also, INEC innovated a new idea of um, ensuring transparency in uh, the process. And that was what, it was that same innovation that INEC introduced, the card reader in 2015, that led to the you know, electoral um, surprise that we saw. Electoral surprise. Yes, the first time an incumbent president lost an election in Nigeria. And after that, Rather than build on those gains, we saw a decline. Mm. Until Nasara by election, INEC now introduced another in, um, a technology called ZPAD. And then that technology for Edo, you know, at some point there were threats that INEC was going to abandon it. Mm. And but people, you know, shouted and cried and you know called out INEC and we saw the outcome is that innovation and so what people should do from now is every election ensure that whether staggered or not staggered ensure that INEC you know comes out clean if you remember the 2019 election INEC insisted that they were going to display results in the server mm. do you know if there were truly an uh, opportunity to ensuring the front loading of results as they come from the pulling unit, the way they did in Edo, the outcome probably would have been different. The people would have spoken their mind. Mm. You know, so that's what you have seen in Edo. That's truly the people are yearning for a departure from the norms. And one also next lesson is the fact that um, it was the same Edo that they coined that. It was a political coinage and movement. No man is God. People should learn not to play God. In, uh, once you, are, you occupy a political office, learn not to play God. And because once you do that, it's, um, it, it's, it's um, at a point when God did, or when God eventually arise, you know, it's going to show you who the real God is. Be humble. Be gracious in, in defeat, you know, be magnanimous in victory. Mm. Obaseki, for example, had been largely criticized. His style of governance had been criticized by some persons, not just a few, a lot of people, including those who are close to him. But because of the political exigency, the fact that, oh, there was a common enemy, you know, people felt, oh, look. And the PDP that had even criticized him before now, you know, the moment he joined their platform, the song changed. Not genuinely, but because of, you know, the quest for power. The APC that had eulogized him for the same quest for power, you know, criticized him. All of this we cannot take away. Mm -hmm. So he also needs to look back and find, you know, a way to tweak his approach. Otherwise... In this new administration. Yes, in this new administration, to tweak his approach. Otherwise... 
those people who are rejoicing now, if he continues, like they say, Tiger does not, a leopard does not change his yes. spot. If he continues in that trajectory, those who are with him now will turn against him. Because it happened to Shomole. Shomole as governor, people stood solidly behind him. Even in Benin, against General Charles Ariawe, the Benin stood solidly, massively behind Oshomole to say, no, we want good governance. Mm -hmm. So he also didn't know when to quit, like um, Dan Agbese once said, knowing when to die. He didn't know when to die. And, and so if you actually look at, go down in history, even in Nigeria, when IBB came on board as head of state, president, president, head of state, he later you know, called himself president. You know, the, 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 um, vic the jubilation that greeted the streets was very massive. But how did it end? Because Afterwards. he saw that jubilation as you know, an acceptance and then started punishing the people. Buhari, when he came in 2015, there was wide jubilation. Yes, we have defeated corruption. We have defeated impunity. And we're going to move forward from here. But what is the song on the street today? If he had ruled, if Buhari had not ruled at all, if he had not won an election, I tell you, he will remain in history as oh, the best president Nigeria never had. And so in the same vein, for Godwin uh, Oshomole, Oshomole, if Oshomole, after his tenure, or let me, before I go to Oshomole, good luck, Jonathan. In 2011, if good luck, Jonathan, had not participated in that election, had said, you know what, I'm going to uh, respect all of the agreement, you know, zoning or no zoning, in my party. Mm -hmm. I will ensure that we follow the, the, the norm and conduct a credible election because I will not want to be involved as a sitting president. Mind you, that time Yaradwa had died. Yeah. Do you know he would have remained in history as one of the best thing to have come out of Africa. But he still remains in the good books No, of but people. that's those people who want to sing his praise because of the bad governance that you are currently experiencing. Mm. And that's why people will look back and still say, as bad as Jonathan was, he wasn't this bad. This so that means there's still a bad there. Mm -hmm. And so, but that didn't happen. For Oshomole, if Oshomole, after the election, after his election, had said, you know what? I will allow the party you know, do its thing. I will give support, just like Obama did. Mm. I will give support to whoever emerged as a candidate of the party. And then, not taking it upon himself to say, look, Godwin is the man. Godwin did this. Godwin, in fact, ensured rain during dry season. <laughs> and um, right. Isaiah Yamu is the criminal, is the Lucifer that you have never seen only for him to eat his words four years down the line. You know, these are lessons because you asked me what are the lessons. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the role of the people, uh, how crucial it is. Because, you know, part of the conversations that we have been having this morning, there was a buildup of tension before the election, you know. But thankfully, uh, it's, it's a surprise, a pleasant surprise that it didn't go the way many people had thought. Uh, how do you assess the role of the people in choosing who will be their leader? Come what me, no yeah, matter the interferences. Said, that's why I said that um, if, you, if you permit the people, politicians will not just campaign, even after election, they will fulfill, if not all, majority of their campaign promises. In um, Anambra State, Peter Obi, mm. as a former governor, brought Willie Obiano, went around with him, campaigned vigorously. Midway he stole his tenure, he moved party. And then four years down the line, he came back to the people to say, no, he's no longer the man. And they were like, no. Mm -hmm. What he has changed? Four years ago, you told us that this man, you know, was the Messiah. You, these same people that you are associating with now, you told us then that they were, to desist you from know, them that we should, do you not have anything to do with them? What has changed? Obiano, you know, was elected for a second term. In Akwaibon, 
God's will Akpabio brought Udon Emmanuel and said, look, this is the Messiah who will continue the good works, the uncommon good works I have started. I don't, I've been trying to look for how common those works are anyway. And then they voted him in. He got to the Senate, became a minority leader. Few years into the administration, the lifespan of the administration, he switched camp. And then four years down the line, he said, no, the same in Simai Kere that I told you is not good enough, mm -hmm. is now the best candidate. The people rejected both in Sima and refused him from going back to the Senate. In Quara, you remember the Otoge movement that, look, there should be an end to the Sarakis mm. in Quara. And, and so it came to pass. Unfortunately, these people, the leaders don't learn a lesson. One would have expected that all of this would have been signs for them. But the people, after the, the election, after the election, do the people question the leadership? Take Buhari, for example. People that vigorously campaigned for President Buhari, two years, a, a few uh, days into his um, administration, one would have expected that, you know, they bring out their um, assessment sheets and begin to assess every governor, every president, every lawmaker from day one. Mm. But no, we'll go to sleep. We'll create excuses for them and say, um, I will give him two years. You know, the rot of 16 years is not, you can't clean in one day. But nobody's telling you clean the rot. Take one step at a time. It is the steps that you take in the morning that will determine where you're going to in the afternoon. But we, the people didn't do that. I also do not know if they will do that in a do. Hmm. And, and so, rather, you see the governors who hire praise singers. They hire the people, a few, who are eating from crumbs from there. That is how they now assume the position of godfathers. Like Oshomole, they, he assumes so, so many names. Osho quick, Osho fire, Osho destroy, Osho that. The same way they are transferring those names to Wiki now. Oh, Wiki is the new lion. Wiki is in Daboski. You know? And before you know it, the leaders, the rulers, uh, leaders that are supposed to be leading you, that you should be questioning, they become rulers over you who can no longer be questioned. They mm. talk down on you. Because you've willed your power to them. Because you have exchanged your power to question back to them. That's the role of the people. And that's why you find out that even in the election, both parties still share money. Both parties still, you know. And lastly, on this point, the fringe political parties, who are the, uh, what do you call it, um, the other political parties, mm -hmm. who should have taken advantage of the fact that people are saying there is no difference between APC and PDP. Mm -hmm. They are just platforms for, con for conducting election, for uh, contesting for election, that the candidate have swapped. Who should have taken advantage of that to massively, you know, go into a door, mobilize and educate? Anyway, even though it was, it was too short for them because they went to sleep <laughs> after 2019. You already election. answered. <laughs> they didn't do all of that. They okay. didn't do all of that. And so, and that's why I still see us as um, a people who are, you know, we always latch on to the frenzy of the moment. Mm. It is easy and now, very that. convenient for everybody to say, oh, this is not Lagos. Oh, they are do people. Ah, uh, they are do people. Have, uh, they are spoken. They are so resilient. They are so that. They are so this. But where you actually know resilience and, um, you know, strong will people, it's not just election. Because a lot of factors determines election. But it is the ability to roll out your, your sheets and begin to assess. Mm -hmm. These were the promises you made. You know, time lag, we begin to assess them one after the other. And say how Otherwise, you, you will wake up suddenly and realize that the day is far too gone and there's nothing you can do. All right, Libras, uh, let's talk about, uh, I mean, you've mentioned, you mentioned in passing about INEC, your assessment of INEC uh, generally. Uh, let's also look at security agents' performance because you know that you would all, I mean, Nigerians would agree that there was tension already building up 
as far as this election uh, was concerned, and we don't know what's going to happen. What will Edo turn out to be? What's there going to be violence and all of that? How do you assess the security performance, you know, uh, during this election? Also, the same kudos I've given to INEC, I would also, you know, extend that to the security agent in Kogi. That's why you see a lot of politicians who are boastful. Oh, yes, we're going to deal with them, we're going to show them, you know. And then some even analysts like us also felt they might use federal might because mm -hmm. the federal government controls both the police and, you know, the security agencies generally. But I would want to see a day where we'll conduct election and then there will be no... We won't have to deploy the entire security in the country into mm -hmm. that state because we're conducting election. We'll go conduct ourselves with the people now peacefully, go about our normal duties, cast your ballot, and then go back. And you know you can count on the process. But be that, that said, the security operatives, including the Nigerian Army, the DSS, from the observers on ground, it was obvious that they were very, very professional mm. in their conduct. Um, in a donut, you had military, army personnel, and almost every observer you saw said, look, what they did was, you come, once you identify yourself as an observer, you're allowed to, to, do your to, work. to do your work. Irrespective of political parties, once you, are, you attempt to compromise the process, the security operators will pick you up and they hand you over to the appropriate you know, authorities for, for onward um, prosecution, mm. whatever. And, and so that's professionalism. And that's why you hear that APC people would say, yes, we caught some PDP people. Why PDP people also would say, we caught some APC people. Mm. Even on um, the morning of the election, you know, APC shouted, shouted uh, PDP shouted foul. Oh, the governor Wiki yeah. had been surrounded, his hotel had been surrounded, akin to what happened in Kogi. But the same PDP, the spokesperson on this same platform did say that that um, event did not last up to 20 minutes. That what actually happened was the police, because of the heightened security tension, that the police, I'm quoting him now, Crusoe, yeah. said that the uh, police only were on random security check to ensure that you know, some of these areas or that the man was exactly. And, and so, that the same people that raised the alarm debunked that same rumor. And so with that, you would say kudos to the security operators. Because the PDP in their time, you know, when I read the statement of Kola Lobodion, I, I just smiled to myself. I said, I said, this is like the same statement of Alaji Lai Mohammed during the Oshu election, re-election of um, uh, Ogbeni Rao Farag Beshola, how the PDP deployed you know, the DSS and, you know, uh, started harassing governors, even in Ekiti, how governors were not allowed into Ekiti. Mm -hmm. You remember in Anambra how Erufai was caged in his uh, hotel. I hotel. said, it is the same script, the same template. How the APC also used the military to snatch ballot boxes in um, Kogi. Uh, you know, the videos are there. Mm -hmm. and, and so, but thank, thank, thanks to the um, um, president, I, I would thank him because he's actually the chief commanding officer. If he had wanted to compromise the process, you know, there's desperation on every part. He would still have, mm. you know, actually given one instruction. But maybe because of his insistence that the security operatives should be professional. So even when his subordinate gave counter instructions, the security operatives refuse to obey. All right, let's talk about staggered election, which has come up again. Uh, do you think that's the way to go, even nah. in general elections, no, to no. be able to no, ease no. logistics? You don't no. agree at all? No, I don't agree. Why I don't not? agree. It's not... Um, look, it, it's simple. All of these processes, it's not because it's staggered election. Was okay. Kogi not a staggered election? Was uh, Moshu not a staggered election? Was a Kitty not staggered? Mm. You know, so these are places where we had seen election before. What just happened is INEC up their game. Okay. In 2015, the general election was not staggered. But largely, to a very large extent, the people felt that the wishes and the aspiration of the people was allowed to prevail because INEC introduced 
a novel idea which was called the card reader then to authenticate fingerprint biometrics and verify their cards. Mm -hmm. The success rate was 54% in that election. But after that and the subsequent Supreme Court judgments for 2019 election, the success rate for card reader was 19%. Go and verify. This is INEC information. Mm -hmm. And even dropped to 16 or 6 or 9, as the case may be, in some staggered election in this country. And but for that, for the Nasarawa by election, what did INEC do? INEC also discovering that politicians were now amassing card readers. Mm -hmm. And so once you just want to give you a card reader, you go, you swipe. If the card is not able to verify, they just tick your name in the box and then you are allowed to vote. So they introduce what they call the Z-pad. Yeah. As you know, a further authentication in the event that the card the reader is yes. not able to uh, authenticate your card. And then two functions for the Z-pad. After authenticating, they also ensure that the form EC8A which is the resort, the pooling unit resort sheet, is also immediately documented and sent to an INEC portal, INEC resort portal. And, and so once you have that, because the, pre, the, the, the manipulation usually takes place between pooling units and collation mm -hmm. center. So once you have all the pooling units already in a portal where everybody can view, so it becomes difficult. Everybody can collate the results. INEC will be collating, the political parties will be collating, the public also, mm. uh, civil society can sit down somewhere and collate. So at the end of the day, when you release figures that they do not tally with figures in your own portal, mm -hmm. then it becomes a problem. Right. So these are the transparent processes that we should be is, is assisting on. Mm -hmm. And not uh, whether election is staggered or not staggered. The politician will always want to do their thing. And if the security operatives or the government at the center wants to compromise the process, they will. Mm -hmm. We should ask for amendment of the Electoral Act to reflect all of these innovations. And then gradually work towards eradication of just relying solely on these spreadsheet, you know, um, uh, manual processes. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, have both run concurrently, the manual and the electronic process. And also, yes, electronic is not foolproof. They are subject to mani manipulation. But like we have said, if you, at the end of the day, you know, consistently improve on the electronic, including even the result that you, this EC, EC8A that you send, they can be manipulated, mm -hmm. you know, but, but if you work, with the electronic yeah, process if you easier. improve on it consistently, mm. it makes things easy for you. Look at uh, Moshomole's uh, uh, ballot paper. If you do not, if you didn't see him cast his ballots. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You would think truly what was now shown on social media. These are manipulations. So, right, let, so that's why INEC consistently had mm -hmm. to, you know, even when you introduce technology, consistently ensure that, you know. So, like, look at... Lastly, the, 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 the showing blank. Yeah. But when I you saw subsequently saw the ones they showed on, on, social, on media. social media, everybody said, oh, it's like this man voted for PDP. So, <laughs> they just superimposed, you know, another... Um, what uh, um, uh, ballot uh, uh, paper image on that part that is showing blank. So that's how much you know electronic can be manipulated, mm. and so that's why you will need to consistently. Now you have introduced this, mind you, for the next election, politicians are, are already immediately that this had come up. They are already looking for ways to break that process, and so what you need to do for the next election, you need to also up it. Otherwise, even America, as technologically savvy as they are, they are still investigating if there were indeed interference in the election to date. All right. Thank you so very much, Liberals, for all the breakdown and putting it in uh, perspective. Uh, the breakfast continues shortly after this break. Again, don't go away. Stay with us here.